I'm hoping that tonight we get to meet our goal of raising $250,000 that will kick off our County by County initiative, which is a program that we launched a year ago to raise $1.2 million to bring clean water to um, an area in my area called Riverside County. Um, we've already raised $100,000 from Chevron um, that goes towards tonight's event, and we're hoping that we'll have a successful event to raise an additional $150,000. There's a direct correlation between water and women, and so we launched um, an Indigo campaign uh, to commemorate International Women's Day um, because we feel that you know the, the water issue is a women's issue, and water affects women and girls more than it does um, males because women and girls are the ones responsible for walking long distances to catch water, and so we're raising funds that will um, empower women through access to clean water. We focus a lot on um, giving access to water, but also purifying the water and making it safe for people to drink. Um, I would say conservation of water is extremely important as well. Like we take the water um, that we get here for granted, um, but over a billion people worldwide don't have access to safe drinking water. And so we just want to raise awareness and let people know that there is a water crisis, and whatever they can do to actually conserve water will benefit, I think, the global economy. Well, I travel a lot. I'm on the road a lot. Um, I'm always, you know, looking for opportunities to fundraise um, so that we can implement more and more projects. And I'm also very hands-on, so when we do these fundraisers, I have to go to Liberia and be on the ground to actually supervise and oversee the water projects.